Hello and thank you for watching the Kempler Design Blog. We are doing um, a solution for these three banks of windows and I just want you to get a feel for the options. So as you can see there are a window here, here, and here, but they're all right next to one another. This family wants to do motorized shades and so I wanted to uh, show what one of the options are and then when after the installation is complete I'll uh, go over some of the details so that we can see why we chose this solution. So the concept here was that we wanted something that was going to help with room darkening because this is a large media room and they want to be able to make it darker. Now it's not 100% dark but it does provide a lot of light dimming which is exactly what they wanted. So we're using the Hunter Douglas uh, Pirouette with Power View and the Power View enables us to use it remotely. So we're going to hit all and just lower it to the closed position and you'll notice that both shades are lowering themselves to the bottom of the window. So there, are, there is no light that comes through the fabric but it comes around it a little bit and the way that you'll be able to tell, you'll see it gets nice and dark when it's in its down position. The light from the camera picks up more light than there actually is. But then when we dip, do the tip open position, you'll notice that they go to a shear. So this is one of the hybrid products that I talk about a lot that gives you the ability to have the view to the outside and a really nice uh, uh, ability to close it just as much as you want. So let's say you want a little less light, but you could just hit that close button and stop it where you want and now you have a little bit of light coming in. The other advantage is when you go to the fully closed position, and I'll have to make an adjustment on this later, when you go to the fully closed position you'll notice that it's one piece all the way across. You notice at the beginning it has three windows, but with the three windows you'd get a lot of light seeping around the edges with this when it's closed and you can especially notice the one on the right you get light coming in just a little bit through the slats and a little bit around the outside but overall it is uh, not allowing as much light in as three separate units plus you only have to get one motor instead of getting three or two versus six for this job that's the hunter douglas pirouette with power view and it comes up to 120 inches wide which is why we chose this product so welcome back we shot uh, the before video before and now it's after and as you can see we've finished the installation not only with the pirouette shades but also we did some custom cornices and I just wanted and there will be some pictures attached I'll probably insert them into the video to show the before and after what a huge difference it makes and one of the things that I want to talk about really briefly is the cornice box it goes all the way to the ceiling, as you can see. And take a look at that before picture and just look at the huge difference between seeing that large gap up above and now having it all complete. And using the remote control, if we set it for the fully closed position, we'll notice now that uh, it gives you a, the fabric choice of the lightness of the cornice box with the color of the fabric of the pirouette is stellar. And you always have the option of getting a lot of light but still having a shear so preventing some of the damaging sun from coming in and you can always take it all the way up to the top and with that you have the opportunity for this spectacular view or to let in more sunlight if you want get a little warmth in the winter time and you can see that when the shade goes up it uncovers the three separate windows and it completely disappears up into the top, giving you just the perfect look for whatever circumstance you have at that time. Sorry for me looking like I have no light on me, but I'd rather you see that than see this. Thank you for watching the Kempler Design Vlog.